what's up guys welcome to game troops i am greg and today we're going to be doing an overview of a recently released digital title through the wii u eShop, which is balloon fight this was originally released um on the nes and this was re-released on the wii u eShop as a uh as a 30-day trial campaign for the 30th anniversary of the Famicom. It is available for 30 cents on the eShop, but uh, we'll talk about that a little bit later. Let's get started. And here's the boot-up menu, which looks just the same on the gamepad as I'm looking at right now, and on the TV. So yes, this was released in 1986. This is up to two players. I have not played this before with two players um, before. I've only played this with myself, but oops. Well, would you look at that? Uh, Looks like I already have <laughs> a game booted up. Um, well, let's not. Oop. <laughs> let's see if I can fix this here. Let's see. Nope, not that. Uh, let's reset. Yep, yeah, that that that'll do. <laughs> Balloon fight. So let's start with. Um, let's start with the one-player mode. Um, okay. So basically, what you've got to do. If I can get this right. <laughs> Basically what you have to do is you have to, well, basically you have to pop the birds as balloons and you have to pop the, kill the birds. Um, pretty basic stuff. Um, almost feels like a mobile game to be honest. And honestly, what am I saying that for? Because back then, mobile games, or back then NES games were the simple stuff. Mobile games try to be simple stuff, just like the NES. <laughs> Anyways, let's get this last bird here. Sweet. Alrighty then. Alright, let's do this again. So this, yeah, like I said before, this game is very simple. Uh, balloon fight, you basically just gotta kill the birds. Die, you birds! <laughs> and I just died. Basically, you want to stay away from the bird's beak, obviously. You have two balloons, which means you get... Oh, I already lost one. And I lost again. What do you know? Today's just not my luck, is it? Um, yeah, so basically you just gotta pop the birds, these balloons, and, well, either they, well, either they, pff, either they fall in the sea and they get eaten by a, a shark fish thing, and I just died. But let's move on from Balloon Fight to Balloon Trip, which is a different game. Basically, you have to stay in the air and stay away from these little electrical bolts things. Bal popping balloons will give you extra points. And the further you go, the more points you get. As you can see, the further I'm moving, the more points I'm racking up. And uh, one, hit and this time it isn't like balloon fight. If you lose, you get hit once, you lose one balloon. No, this time if you get hit once, you lose all of your balloons. You die, basically, and the game is over. And... <laughs> and um yeah the, the balloon trip is much different than from balloon fight but um it's still the same thing in a sense uh you just gotta stay alive and if you pop any of the bubbles that come from the water you basically get um you get a uh, a little bit of a time pause to uh, click the balloons and to figure your way out through these electrical bolts. Oh my gosh. It gets very, very intense. And I think that's it for this level. I don't know. I've never really gone too far with, uh, with Balloon Trip. I've gone a bit further with Balloon Fight, but overall, what I've got to say about this game is, well, the controls feel really good. I like the fact that I can play this in my gamepad without the TV. It's nice to be able to play virtual console games on the gamepad without the TV. Um, it feels very comfortable in my hands with the gamepad. Um, ah, and I just died. Do, do, do. Game over, right? <laughs> Anyways, um, this time, I'm going to try using the uh, Pro Controller. And, alright, let's do this. Right. Come on. Oh, well, the, the, the Pro Controller feels much different from the gamepad, obviously. Um, I honestly kind of like this a bit more now that I'm thinking about it, because this is my first time playing with the Pro Controller. But, um... As I was saying before, though, the gamepad, being, having the ability to play virtual console games on the gamepad is definitely such a delight to have. It's like it's a pleasure because, um, ugh, dang, <laughs> kind of hard to talk and play at the same time. 
Let's post a Miiverse. Let me get the gamepad. Anyways, this could probably give me a chance to properly talk. <laughs> um, as I was saying, though, um, the gamepad, being able to play with the gamepad is such a pleasure to have because now I don't have to feel the need to play with the TV. Um, I can play virtual console games in my hand, which feels great. It feels just like a Game Boy, honestly. And um, it's it just feels really comfortable in the hands, to be honest. It's not even really that bad. Um, the Pro Controller feels really nice. Yeah, let's choose a winky face. Um, what do I think of the port as a whole? Well, I think it's actually really good. And for the deal of 30 cents right now, um, I think that is even more fantastic. Oh, and I just realized you guys can't see what I'm drawing on my gamepad. <laughs> Looks like you guys will have to wait till I'm done. But anyways, this will give me a chance to talk. Um, Balloon Fight on the Virtual Console eShop, uh, on the eShop here on the Wii U, is awesome. I'm looking forward to next month's um, Virtual Console title, which I'm not exactly sure what that is off the top of my head at the moment. But um, Nintendo's doing this 30-day trial campaign where basically each game that they put, they put one game up per month for the Virtual Console in celebration of the Famicom. And um, 30 cents each and for 30 days. And then afterwards, I think they changed the price after that. But they just want to see what people think with the Miiverse uh, abilities and the gamepad abilities and etc. So, um, what do I think? I think it's awesome. I am loving it. 30 cents, it's definitely a done deal for me. I definitely would say right now, pick this up before the price goes up. Because it's great to have something for such dirt cheap price. It's like awesome. And I think I'm just about done here with the drawing. Let's see. Uh, I need a little more. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing a drawing instead of text. I figured give myself a little bit more creativity. And um, so yeah, to those of you Wii U owners, let me know in the comments below. What do you? Oh, there's my drawing. Balloon trip is hard but fun. Um, let's post my screenshot there with it too. Um, so for those of you that have the Wii U but have yet not picked this up, I would definitely suggest picking this up because for thirty cents, it's a done deal. And yeah, it's awesome. But let me know in the comments below what you guys think should be on the virtual console port. I believe Nintendo said something about porting uh, other um, games to it. But anyways, yeah, 30 cents right there on the eShop. Definitely pick it up. And uh, yeah, again, let me know in the comments below what virtual console titles you would like to see on the Wii U uh, gamepad or on the eShop, I mean. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much going to end it for this overview of Balloon Fight. So, if you guys enjoyed what I had to say about this virtual console title and would like me to do more on either retro or modern games, please let me know in the comments below or PM me in our inbox or let us know on Facebook. And, uh, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And there's more content on the way. And I am Greg from Great, um, <laughs> I am Greg from Game Troops, and we'll see you guys next time.